So why are we doing this and what's the benefit of adding your sitemap into the Google Search Console? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first one is that we want to tell Google about your website so it's easy for them to find you and show you when people search for relevant search terms. So giving them the information about all of the products that you have, all of the pages that you have, all the content that you have, the sitemap gives them that in a neat structured format that makes it easy for them to go and find the right thing at the right time. So that's going to make it easy for them to show your website, your store to more people. So that's a good thing, right? And the second main benefit is that there's some really powerful insights and analytics in there that we can use to help you get more traffic. And that's gonna tell you information like how many impressions you're having, how often you're showing up in search results so you can start to optimize that and improve that. And secondly, which searches are actually getting you the clicks so you know the ones that are working and the ones that are not working. With these two pieces of information, we're able to go and optimize and get more organic traffic. Now, if you wanna learn about how to really optimize this properly and get more organic traffic for your store, we've got another video on that and I'll put the link below so you can go and grab that. So just before we jump into it and actually add your sitemap into your Google Search Console, there's two prerequisites that are really important that you need to take care of. First up is you actually need a Google Search Console account. If you don't already have one of those, then now's the time to pause the video and go and open one and get that set up and verified. If you get stuck with that, I've got a link below in a video on how to do that step by step. After you've got your Google Search Console account all set up, then the next step is we're going to need to find your actual sitemap for your online store, for your online brand. Now, if you're on Shopify or WooCommerce or Squarespace or Wix or any of the major platforms, it's super easy to find the URL of your sitemap. Again, I've got another link below, a video on how to do that step by step. But after you've got those two things, one, two, Google Search Console and your sitemap, now let's jump into the Google Search Console and get your sitemap added so we can start the process of getting more organic free traffic to your online brand. We're going to go into the Google Search Console and press Start Now and here's what the Google Search Console looks like. We're looking for your domain name of your store. If it's not there, you need to click on the dropdown and go down to add property and add your store in there and go through the verification process. It takes just a few minutes. If you get stuck, we've got some resources down below on how to move through that smoothly. After that's done, all we're going to do is go down to the sitemap section and add in the sitemap of your online store. Now, good news, if you're on Shopify or any of the main platforms, WooCommerce, Wix, Squarespace, all the main ones, this is automatically done for you. And you just have to go and look up what the sitemap URL is. Let's have a look at the Shopify example. If we have a Shopify store, Shopify tell us that all stores automatically generate a sitemap XML file. So all that means is we find the domain name of your website and put slash sitemap.xml on the end of it. Here's an example of a store. So here's the Shopify store, ohappyhome.store, and I put in there slash sitemap.xml. Copy that there. Copy, paste. And this is what the sitemap looks like. Now, this is not pretty for us to look at as a human, but this means a lot to Google. Inside these links are all the information about your store, about the blogs, the pages, the products, all the information that Google needs to know what information to show when people search for something. So we're going to get this link here for your store and into your search console. You're going to just paste that one in there and press submit. So if you have a, Word pro a WordPress site or a WooCommerce site, it's going to be slash sitemap underscore index.sml, in this case where it's provided by the Yoast plugin, which is a free plugin you can get if you're on WooCommerce or WordPress. If you're on Wix, it's the same as the Shopify sitemap XML. If you're on Squarespace, it's sitemap.xml. All the main platforms generally do this for you or there's generally a free plugin that you can get to get that going for you. After you've submitted it into the search console here, it's pretty much a set and forget process. Google know about it and they're gonna go back and check that every week or so or every few days, depending on how many um, pages you have and how popular your site is. They're gonna check that information so you don't really have to worry about it anymore. The good news is after it's set up, then we can really take advantage of the performance data. Now, if you wanna learn about what this all means and how you can make it more organic traffic, more free traffic to your online brand and your online store, we've got a video for that. Stick around, I'll see you in the next video. Let's go.